Hey guys, it's Moody here, and this is me actually using Camtasia for the first time. So I decided to just buy Camtasia because I was not liking ScreenFlow because of the little, the fact that you know I had to go ahead and crop out the area, but uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I guess it was big enough for me to want to change it up, I suppose. So here I've got a battle that. I had at some point in my life. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but it's like, okay, lately I've been packing and I was uh, moving back to New York, so that's why you haven't seen much of anything from me. So I'm sorry about that, guys. If you want, I'll make a little, little spiffy ass update video later if you'd like. So here I've got an OU team. Once again, uh, rocking that OU fairly, uh, fairly uh, frequently lately so I he doesn't really have that much of an OU team because we've got that Metang and that Azumarill and Electros running running stuff there that's it's not usual so like, he I thought he might lead with Metang just because that looks like the only stealth rocker on his team from the looks of it and I didn't have to worry about weather, so I'm like, okay, I don't care. Even if he leads with Metang, I won't really care because I'll still have my Tyranitar out. I'll just set up my, my sand and we'll be all good to go, right? And I can still set up my rocks because, you know, I can live I can live things. But he leads off with his Gastrodon, so um, I did not want to get burned. So that, that was my main motivation for switching out there and going into Shaman. 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 Guys. I don't care how I say it, I don't know how to say it, I, I call it a uh, shaman, so I'm um, sorry about that. And once again, I'm rocking that sexy ass Garrus team, if you guys if you guys know what's up with that. I'm, I'm probably going to be doing a second playthrough of Mass Effect, now that I'm all like settled in. So he goes into Azumarill, which I found is really weird, because Azumarill also has the same grass type weakness to uh blah, 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 shaman 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 sorry so i was expecting him to go for an ice punch that's why i went into skarmory here and i, I thought he was probably going to be banded but mm, uh i guess that's not the case or was he i i apologize guys i'm really sorry so um i whirled him at, whirlwind him out into a dragonite which is eh, it's meh because you know dragonites can possibly carry like all that nasty ass fire punch so i'm kind of like i eh, don't want to deal with that so i went into my jellicent expecting the fire punch and he carries a fire gem on this thing what is going on right now i'm so confused a fire gem so um I, we we've got we've got this lovely thing going on here i don't know maybe it's if if you want to one hit ko like a pharaoh thorn or something I, I honestly don't know um i'm also using my blue snowball right now and if you hear like background very uh city like noise uh, that would be why because you know i'm in new york city and noise is outside always so um we we go into tyranitar here <clears throat> i think i get up my rocks now just because i'm like eh, i don't want that dragonite to have multi-scale shit when it comes in so I, I do set up my rocks. He goes into Scraggy, so I'm like, ugh, ugh, those drain punches are probably gonna rape my ass. But I did realize, <clears throat> actually, I did realize I did have the Chopperberry. So, ah, sorry. So, my thought process was, okay, he can, he can, you know, hit me with whatever, and I'll probably live because I have the Chopperberry. So, I, I'd still be able to take him out with one superpower, but. Uh, now that he won for a sub, uh, I figured he was gonna go for a sub again just to kind of stall it out. But I was kind of like, maybe he's gonna actually go for Drain Punch this time. So I went into Skarmory because he's my my defensive beast up in this team. So <clears throat> we've got that. We're rocking it real nice here. So I'm stuck with a Scraggy here, but that's okay. I'm not really fearing it because I can just Brave Bird it if I really wanted to. So he goes into Electros. <clears throat> and I did go for the Brave Bird just because I'm like, eh, you know, I don't want him to possibly set up Dragon Dances or another substitute because that's not going to end well for anyone. So, <laughs> we just keep uh, hitting things here right now, but I was expecting him to go for an Electric-type attack. So, you know, let's go into, 
into Landorus, but he goes for Coil. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is where I just, it clicks into my head. I'm like, oh, whoa, fuck. I think they carry, uh, they have Levitate because the thing is really weird. So, um, I, I just like realized that as I went into my <laughs> Landorus there. So, here I went for Shaman thinking, maybe, I don't even know, honestly. I thought it might have gone for an electric attack. I honestly don't know. I'm I, that was stupid, but we'll deal with it. So I go into my Tracheon because we've got we've got that scarfed scarfed ass Tracheon running train here. Unless he brings in like something else that's gonna be faster than me if it's scarfed or resists my attacks. Like that thing. That thing's not gonna not not gonna be good for a Tracheon. So. We go into Jelsent here, expecting- I was expecting the water type attack, but I guess he goes for Earth Power. That works too. I forgot about that completely, so I guess it's okay. <sighs> Jellicent, you're- you're kind of useless. You're here just taking hits right now. So, I don't know why I go for Recover. It, it seemed really, really, really pointless, especially uh, the fact that I just got a Spideff drop anyway, so I'm not really gaining back much. Well, actually- I, I'm still barely gaining some. I mean, why am I being that one asshole that wants to stall it out? And oh, by the way, there I go misclicking. I was gonna go for a toxic, but I'm like, oh, snap, herp derp, oops. Misclicked, scald. <laughs> so, uh, Jelson goes down, which is, which is okay, I suppose. I mean, I didn't know what to do right now. I just, I was like trying to search for damage here. I don't care if he went for the skull. I was just hoping for like no burn so I could just keep hitting it. <laughs> so, uh, as long as I bring it down enough with Carnage, we're all good. And that that's what happens there. We got that crit, which did matter, but uh, he might have recovered or something, so I don't know. So, we go into Scrag here. So here, I'm like, okay, I got that goddamn Choppleberry. I don't care. Although, to be honest, at that amount of health, I'm not even sure if the Choppleberry mattered. If it was a special attack, it would have, but in that scenario, I'm not really sure. Someone can do calcs. I don't care if you guys really want to do calcs that much. But I'm not the kind of person that wants to waste time doing calcs. So, here I go back into my Terrakion. I've, I've got that nice-ass close combat shit rocking rocking on this thing we've also got a burnt dragonite so here um i do outspeed the only thing he has to hit me would be with would be uh extreme speed and actually he dies from the burn in the sandstorm so uh i guess we won't ever know if anyone cares so uh he goes into azumarill here i'm thinking okay he's clearly gonna have the aqua jet otherwise why would he go into azumarill you know but he goes for the waterfall I'm like, okay, I, I will, I will, I suppose I'll take that, um, not go for the Aqua Jet, or he was predicting me to actually go into this, and that's why I went for the Waterfall, who knows, either way, uh, I do gain back health with my Skarmory, just because I feel like preserving it, because I think it's, uh, the only thing, well, not the only thing, it, it just takes, it takes defense, it takes Physically offensive hits well. That's its purpose, so we're keeping it alive for that. And we're gonna rock that. So I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird because he seems to just keep going for the waterfall. And I I don't have a problem with that. It just means like even if I do go down to one of his waterfalls, it just means that my Trigon can still come in out speed. Because he's clearly choiced. Well, not clearly, but I'm thinking he's pretty much choiced at this point, but uh, we we still got that that stall going on here, you know, trying to provide filler while the stall goes on. So guys, I hope you're having a nice day. <laughs> stall, is that your cup of tea? It's not my cup of tea, so you know we're gonna keep stalling. Damn it, Alina, you're playing the you're like being that one douchebag right now that likes to stall. No one likes that one douchebag, Alina. I don't know why you're doing it. You should just let Skarmory die. <laughs> So, uh, he goes into his, uh, Scraggy again, obviously, oh, that's probably why I really wanted to, uh, keep Skarmory alive, although, honestly, with a Scarf track on, it probably didn't even matter whether I kept Skarmory, Skarmory alive or not, but he goes for bulk up, which is, it's not gonna do much, he's still gonna die to another Brave Bird, if 
And he's not going to be able to hurt me much either. Although it depends on how much health he'd gain back from like Drain Punch or something. Because he doesn't have anything to hit me for super effective damage. But either way. <sighs> Brave Bird that thing and take it out. I believe that's the end of the match. Unless there's like one more. Oh, yeah, I guess there's one more because we, we're still here with the Skarmory. <laughs> and you get to look at that nice-ass Garish's name. Ah, we've got this Metang. I still don't understand the purpose for it. I mean, when you can use Metagross with so much more effectiveness. I, I don't know. I feel like I've got a really douchey team. And he's got, you know, all this, all this random stuff. But what can you do? The Earthquake's probably going to take him out at this point. And that's going to be a good game. If I actually mess up... Okay, there... Okay. First of all, this game was, for some reason, put in, like, a folder. But I forgot what folder I put it in. So there's, like, a toss-up between two people this match was against. I honestly don't remember. If I put the wrong person's name for this match, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just warning you there. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm probably gonna make an update video at some point. I only have this battle because um it's backed up and right now since my home router runs WPA, I'm kinda trying to fix that situation. So wish me luck and I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, you get to hear my lovely love but I can't talk. You get to hear my lovely voice say how much I love you guys and have a nice day and hearts, internet hearts. So bye guys.